Didn't see you there. I was just practicing making the sound of murdering cats. No, in fact, I'm working on my muted trumpet sound. You know what a mute is? Those Harmon mutes, those little, uh, funnel cone. Never mind. Cool, smoky, jazz club, Miles Davis. That is a muted trumpet. Before we get started, the muted trumpet is one of the most difficult sounds to make with your voice, and it does have the ability to really hurt your vocal cords if you do it wrong, which I did when I was starting to make the sound. <coughs> <coughs> like actual vocal cord pain. So if this happens, stop, stop, stop. I promise you there's a good way to make the sound that doesn't hurt your voice at all. Pain equals bad. Pain equals your body saying, stop, no, don't do this. Okay, promise, you hurt, you stop. Good. So the first thing you need to know about making the muted trumpet sound is that it involves what you would call an, an umlaut. You're going to be keeping the back of your mouth open and closing the sound at the front. So start with a big sound, big and open and wide. Take the same idea and close that into an sound. Really nice and tight in the front, but still open in the back. Now what I'm doing is I'm taking my tongue and kind of curling it up a little bit. It actually makes that plunger that's inside the cone of the trumpet. Again. Hear that? That ugly buzzing sound is key to the muted trumpet. All that may be well and good, but you may say, this isn't really locking for me, I'm not getting the sound. I need an easier way. I have an easier way. I like to call it the Cartman method. You've seen South Park, you know Cartman? Oh my god, yeah. Mama, my cheesy poosh. Well, you need to make that sound. Eh, cheesy poosh, cheesy poosh. Mama, my cheesy poosh. Eh, eh. Up there, that's what you want. Eh, 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 eh. This is where you're in danger of getting the pain, the hurt, the badness. So make sure that the sound isn't sitting on your vocal cords because you can make that ugly, gritty sound right there. <laughs> Again, remember. You have to decide in advance how far you're going to open your mouth when you make that plunger sound because the further you go, the more it becomes vocal. There is a line. No problem. Still probably okay? Yeah. Probably right on the border. Yeah. That's where it starts like, oh, I can really tell that's vocal. The thing to know about a lot of these instrumental sounds is that you don't want to sound like a person and you don't want to sound pretty. The, the, the nasty, the grit, that's what really gives you the cool sound. So it's up to you, it depends what you're going for. Vocal can work, depending upon what you're going for. All right, you got it? Practice, 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 have fun, arrange some cool jazz stuff and do this over the top, go online, find some great jazz songs, solo sections you can jam along with the greats. Do this at the table Thanksgiving dinner when your relatives are getting annoying, long car rides, it'll, it'll get you whatever you want. That is fun. Thanks for joining me. I'll be back next time with another instrumental sound. <laughs>